I'm going to do a quick demonstration on a little trick I learned on how to remove acid core flux from any parts you may be working with. It also removes other types of flux, but it works extremely well. see there sometimes how you get left with this really nasty mess and I've come up with a good way of getting it off of there it'll brown up here once it cools down and really start looking funky see how there's just like some acidy resiny looking stuff left over there and if you ever use it on stuff that's around electrical or on electrical it'll corrode up big time so this is how i get off i'm going to heat it back up just a little bit until i see the flux sizzling and there you go <laughs> just a spray bottle if had i a piece of yellow paper or something to set under this you'd see that it turned completely yellow Sure what happened to the top there but works pretty good I have another video where I do this on a pump I'm working on and it works so well I thought I'd just share the trick because it's been a problem for me in the past I've used tried to use acetone and made a mess and dissolved plastic that I didn't want to dissolve and really all I needed to do is heat it up and spray some water on it Pretty cool little trick There's one more demonstration of the flux removal process that I discovered Works better than any chemicals or anything. I'm just going to heat it back up till I see the flux start to bubble Spray it with water. Now you can repeat that process if you feel the need to, but that is completely clean. You could use a little bit of a wipe, I guess, but for the most part, you should see the yellow puddles that it leaves behind when you do it that kind of confirms that you did, in fact, get a huge amount of flux off of there. Probably hit it one more time. hot yeah that's just water and a spray bottle definitely could have used that trick over the last seven years I've got cans of acetone out and just ruined materials from the acetone dissolving stuff and that just works amazing so there you go flux removal with a spray bottle I also used that process to clean off this pump I was working on. It's a modified blower. This came out of a vacuum cleaner. And I had to do some things to it, but clean the flux right off of it. Just got it a little bit hot till you see it bubble. Spray it with a spray bottle. And it cleans it good as new, almost as if it was an acid bath. But it has to be hot. There's almost some kind of reaction with the uh, water and the flux. Pretty weird. You can see there's a little bit of residual right there, but probably could have hit that again. Pretty cool trick. Okay, I just had to get some footage of these final solder joints I'm going to do because this flame is just so impressive it's so unreactive with the work surface that the joints just work out amazing I'm not used to having such an unreactive flame and this thing is super hot but it doesn't affect the uh, work surface at all like if this was an HHO flame alone, I would not be able to touch the actual 
solder surface at all with the flame. That is a little sloppy there, but you get the point. And uh, one more trick I wanted to show you, that if you uh, take a spray bottle while your flux and your material is still hot, and you spray it with water, it'll wash all of that acid core flux right off. Well, my spray bottle's not working out here, but it's gotta still be hot. You can see how clean that is right there. I'm gonna go ahead and heat this back up real quick. Doesn't take much, this thing. Okay. Well, I didn't get quite hot enough that time. You can see how well it did work on that one section though, when it was still hot. Still a couple little pegs in there. Yeah. Not bad. Looks like I might have missed a little bit of a spot right there.